tonight I'm riding a black unicorn. Welcome to the January 2018 Voltaire video newsletter coming to you straight from somewhere in Thailand. Somewhere in Thailand. Uh, Klong Wing, maybe? I think I'm in Klong Wing. Um, in any case, uh, gosh, uh, we're gorillas everywhere. That's a gorilla, right? <laughs> Upcoming shows, where am I playing near you? My next show is my birthday show. I'm playing on January 27th at Bar Sinister in Los Angeles, California. Very, very excited about that. Presuming I return home, because let me tell you, it is uh, very, very nice here. It's very calm and really beautiful, and the food is outrageous. But presuming I leave this place, I will uh, see you all in California, in sunny Los Angeles, at Bar Sinister, January 27th. And then I have some other shows. I'm playing at Wicked Fair in February. Oh my god, I, <laughs> I don't know why I started recording, because I don't know where I'm playing, to be completely honest. But um, suffice to say that you can uh, go to voltaire.net slash calendar and find some dates. I'm working on a um, Dallas show, possibly, for... Uh, February, but that hasn't happened yet. Um, hopefully that'll come through. Um, yeah, just go look at my calendar. There's a Russia show, possibly, you know, Moscow and St. Petersburg were in the works. Trying to make that happen for um, March 2018. Just go there, voltaire.net slash calendar. And any shows that are officially booked so far, well, you, will, you will find them there. Uh, moving on, books. Man, I came here to work on the Chichan novel. I've been here, ugh, I want to see like... Rhinoceri. That's the son of a rhinoceros, right? I'm not sure what that was. Um, books, Chichan book. I came here to write on that. Do some, can you tell that I can't think when I'm in Thailand? Can you tell? I'm too relaxed. That's the problem. The problem is I'm too relaxed. Uh, in any case, I have not written one single word. Not one word. <laughs> I've been here for like 15 days, I think. I have not written a single thing. I've just been having such a lovely time. And that's important, I think. I think it's important to have some downtime. So today, I think, is the first day where I'm actually going to sit here in front of my bungalow and, and do some writing on Chichan. But then tomorrow, I'm going to the, to the Fifi Islands. Chances of me doing any writing there are pretty slim. Pretty slim. But we'll see. Then there's the Oh My Goth musical. Those of you who follow me on Patreon, those of you who support me on Patreon, have been getting glimpses of that because I've been publishing my script as it exists, along with uh, some of the songs, some of the never-before-heard songs from the maybe-someday upcoming Oh My Goth musical. That's patreon.com slash Aurelio Voltaire, I believe, is the address for as little as a dollar a month. You could support me on Patreon and get all of this exclusive content, and that's some of the stuff I've been working on there. And that I, I actually have been thinking about while I've been here, is the Oh My Goth musical. So um, I hope to continue working on that. Oh, uh, and then, you know, there's Gothic Homemaking. What's happening with Gothic Homemaking? I actually shot two segments here for Gothic Homemaking. One about decorating with insects. There's a really, really wonderful segment that I shot at the Siam Insect Zoo, a really, truly fascinating place. I think you're going to love that segment. And then I purchased, purchased some extremely large insects mounted at, a, uh, at the Sunday market here, one of the many, many markets. That one was in Chiang Mai, actually, a market in Chiang Mai. Uh, but you'll see some giant insects, some of them dead and mounted, some of them quite alive and wandering around. So... Uh, the sound of a zebra, I think. There's no zebras here. Maybe it's an orangutan. There's no orangutans here either. You know, it was probably just a cart. <laughs> Someone pushing a cart. Let me have my fantasies, damn you. Don't take my fantasies away from me. So in any case, um, I have been uh, working on gothic homemaking while I've been here. So I shot the insect, insect segment. Another thing that fascinates me tremendously about Thailand is that everywhere you look, there's sculptures of creatures, lots and lots of serpents, so I investigated to find out why there were all of these multi-headed snake serpents everywhere. Um, and they're apparently, it's apparently part of Buddhist tradition. And so I have shot a segment about that. And you'll be seeing some of that at some point soon. 
And then I went to a snake show to support that segment. So you will be seeing me sitting closer to a cobra than is really truly reasonable. And somebody extracted venom from a cobra about five inches from my face and then decided to place the snake's fangs an inch away from my genitalia. It was, I didn't film that, so you don't need to worry about that. But that was um, exhilarating. So you'll be seeing some of that when I return and I shoot some segments about uh, uh, serpent statues and a segment about insects. And uh, there's other gothic homemaking stuff. I shot a segment about clutter, eliminating clutter, just before I left New York, but didn't get all the footage that I needed. So I wasn't able to sit here editing. Thank goodness. All of this time. But I will get back to that when I return. So lots and lots of actually gothic homemaking stuff coming down the pike. And so I think that's about it for now. The upcoming shows, the books I'm allegedly <clears throat> sort of working on, the Oh My Goth musical and gothic homemaking. All of these things are in the mix. Upcoming music, uh, you know, uh, Heart Shape Wound has been out for a while now, so you should get a copy if you don't already have one. Um, but uh, I don't know what the next album's going to be. I've been playing around with the idea of it being a, an all-Spanish album, like taking some of my classic songs and um, translating them into Spanish, and then maybe adding a, a couple of two originals, uh, uh, one or two originals. And I really want to do a version of La Camisa Negra. I don't know if you guys are... Tengo La Camisa Negra. You know, I am wearing a black shirt in the song. It's because the guy's really sad because his girlfriend left him. But I think I should do, like, my first ever Spanish gothic parody. Tengo la camisa negra porque soy un vampiro, you know, because I'm a gothic vampire. Anyways, that's some of the stuff that's happening. And uh, I look forward to seeing you all uh, <laughs> after this trip is over. That's not true. <laughs> I kind of don't want this trip to ever end, to be honest with you. It's so, so very lovely here. But... Um, I will see you all stateside, and some of you in Russia, and some of you in Europe in 2018. I hope you all had a really, really wonderful year, and I hope 2018 brings you everything you could ever hope for. See you guys soon. Bye-bye. And another thing. Call to prayer. You know what, I'm going to end this video and let people who pray have their time to pray.